Oh, my name is Peter. Today I'm going to be, um, well, I'm going to be starting uh, a project where uh, anybody can join me early. It'd be a, you know, now to use Blender properly. We'll be using it, you know, for quite a bit. I'll be making uh, a plane like this, uh, basically, you know, from blueprints so uh, it should be alright uh, but first you, we need to you know go and get the blueprints for the plane so we got to one minute where is it here you need to go to this website here the blueprints dot com uh, you need to make an account though but it's free uh, we'll be using go here. Uh, go to modern airplanes. Go to Boeing, Boeing, I should say, and then go right down. You can you can pick any of here you want. It's just I'm going to show you how to do not make one, and then uh, I'm going to make it. Uh, Seven five seven two hundred. So you can either pay for one, this one here, or deep blue ones are all free. So definitely that one. And we're making this one here. So you need to uh, download that. But as you can see, it's a uh, GIF image. Uh, Blender don't accept them that kind of that kind of image. Do you think it's for like you know animations on websites? I think they use GIF images, so we need to like convert it. So the best way to do that, oh, let me download it again. The best way to do that is. on make a file on your desktop and put all your files well all your folders and everything in that and then you need to uh, edit it in general like your uh, favorite editing software something like that but I'm just going to use paint so we need to do change the format to a JPEG JPEG image so Blender you know, can read it, so we can import it into Blender to use it. Uh, it going in the same folder. I need to close that. Close that. We don't need you anymore, and we don't need this one anymore either. Throw that there. Right. We have to delete that model. Uh, right, basically, I'm going to show you how to set up, set up the, you know, the blueprints. So, uh, first, I don't like using these um, views, you know, like perspective and all that. Front perspective and side. So, I like to just use the uh, toggle you know like quad view one minute let me delete these right oh I didn't mess up with them right. to get this menu up you press N and then you need to load each background image into these and if we be like your 3D space we can see your model you know, be made be made uh, you add, you add uh, three of these, and then see all views. You click uh, top, front, and right, and then open them all, and then click that one. 
and when you saved that image we you took up from blueprints.com you need to open that one now do you know the JPEG what you've edited to change the format you need to open that one and just open and there, that's one image but so you need to get this top one lined up with there and so that's lined up for the time being anyway so you close that one and then basically you want you don't have to really keep open them like that all the time all you basically do is click this icon here and like that Right, and see where it says run, it should be that one by right, but I don't do it like that, I found it a bit tricky. So I just use the side view for it, and then this one here will be your front view, really. So have that one like that a minute. And then you click this one. That's it. And then this one would be your f um, front view. Really? Yeah. But it doesn't matter about this for the time being. It only basically matters when we're doing the underneath the plane and the wings and um, these at the back and the rudder and stuff like that. So all you basically need is these two, the side and the top. Uh, I'm looking for time. Right, um, I'm going to stop this one now. Um, but the next uh, tutorial will be actual beginning you know to set the um, uh, cylinder up we will, we will be modeling it from uh, a cylinder so yeah